something we often want to do in chemistry is to try and separate two liquids. In this case we're going to try and separate two liquids that are immiscible. In other words, one floats on top of the other, they don't mix. Let's have a go. <laughs> Something that we often do when we're eating at this time of year in the summer is we want to make up some vinaigrette dressing. So this is some vinegar and all I want to do is pour in about 100 mils of this. And what I'm going to do is I like my vinegar with a little bit of something like some tarragon so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of tarragon in there and then to make up the vinaigrette dressing we put in an equal amount of oil and so there I have my vinaigrette dressing and to play with this we can see that we've got the oil floating on top of the water and to use it we simply give it a good shake and there it is ready to go on my salad so I'm quite happy to eat it but wait as I leave this this is settling out to again the oil upon the water layer in chemistry we often want to try and do not this mixing but we want to do this separating so I've got here two different liquids I've got some water to which I've added some blue dye and I'll put a little bit of this in there there we are about 50 mils and I'll put in about the same amount of oil in there as well and there I've got my oil floating on my water and if I mix them up they still separate quite readily apart from my oil does take up some of the blue dye but not much just there so we can try and see it so how are we going to try and separate this well we can try pouring this layer off but it doesn't work terribly well so what we have in chemistry is a much better system and this is a separating funnel it has simply a valve at the bottom so we can separate the two liquids off so let's close the tap and then pour our two liquids in here. Now the first thing that I've got to do is to ensure that these two do separate out fully. So what we've got to do now is we've got to leave this for a few moments and hopefully the two will separate out and then we can release the valve. So let's leave this for a few moments and come back and see what it looks like when it sorted itself out. Having waited a few minutes I've now managed to get the two liquids to separate quite nicely. I've got the water at the bottom and the oil floating on top so now all we need to do is to separate them back as they were is to have three containers this is for my liquid my water this is for my oil and I've got another one for that little awkward bit in the middle where I might have a problem separating them so let's take out the liquid, water, 
so the water separates, comes down the bottom. And now I'm going to have to go fairly slowly and gently. And there is my oil virtually at the bottom. I've got a tiny bit of blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to collect that awkward little bit separately. And that appears to be now okay. And now let's let the oil out. this comes out much slower than the water because it's that much thicker more viscous and just about there now and we're back to where we started we've now got some oil and some blue water and we've managed to separate the two as for my vinaigrette dressing that too has settled out my tarragon seems to be on the oil side of the water oil mixture uh, the advantage of doing the vinaigrette dressing of course is to get the flavors of the tarragon not only in the vinegar because the water the water component will dissolve in that but the oil component will dissolve in the oil so you get the best of both worlds there you are. separating two immiscible liquids